Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper. In this video, we're gonna to talk to you about how to tell when your cow is ready to calf. This is our second milk cow we've ever had. The first one didn't work out very well. This was her baby, and she was bred a bit ago, so we've been keeping an eye on her. And our oldest daughter, Pinky Pepper, is gonna go through some things about how to tell when it is near. Hi, I'm Pinky Pepper, and this is our milk cow, Xenia. And the easiest thing to kind of tell when they're gonna be calving is if you know when or around the day that they should have gotten bred. And so the cow gestation period is nine months, or you know, around nine months. And Xenia is a short leg Dexter, and she will be turning four this year in April. And one of the nice things is, is if you know how your cow looks, like normally or um, when they're normally pregnant, then you can notice the changes in their body as they get ready to calf. This was an arranged marriage and so we know the date or at least very close to the date that she got bred. So her due date is January 6th and today's January 8th. And we've been able to watch her body get bigger as she's her calf is growing and she's getting closer to calving. So we're gonna start with just kind of the look of the cow and her sides and her belly and some of that. Then we're also going to talk about the udder and we will then move back to her kind of nether regions and show some of the changes there. Alright, so Xenia is getting very very close to calving. I'm thinking she might calve today or something. It's really bad weather today too. We have really bad weather coming up but her calf dropped from like yesterday. It has dropped all the way and her side has gone in compared to this side which is just like normal. This side has gone in, or I can put my hand here, it's all the way in, and her calf is right here. I so you used right to here. always feel the calf where? It was about, oh wow, it's moving. I can feel it really good. It was more about right up here. You could kind of feel it up here. And right. it was there for how long? Yeah. For like, that's just where it always was. Right, a couple much. weeks or months you could feel it there? I mean, it would move around, but it usually was right up here. And now it's kind of gone like, it's here now. Yeah. And there's a whole bunch of it here. Now we're in a pretty small mini barn right now, so it's hard to kind of show and it's raining outside, but she is nice and thick. Um, especially knowing how this cow normally looks, we can see how much thicker she is now. They've been feeling and touching the baby right in kind of that hollow there. Right here. Uh, so yeah, right up there is where they had been. Now it's dropped there. Do you want to move on to the udder and show yes. me the differences there? Okay. So her udder was big yesterday and today it's super big it's like it looks like she's calving like today or tonight and how does it normally look when she's not in milk it's just like pretty flat like her teats are just you know Dangly not more really and... they're just wrinkly and they're just there but they definitely don't have anything in them and so it is really big it's easy to see from the back but you see how big that has gotten oh wow and how big this whole thing is like look at that look. yeah 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 and they're all the wrinkles bulging. are gone Yes, they're bulging. Let me see if I can get her to put her foot back. Put her foot back. Good girl. So all the wrinkles in her bag are gone, and her bag comes all the way up here. Like, look at these teats. They're they're like really full. If she doesn't calve soon, that's gonna be really bad. So she needs to calve really soon. But her teats are really really big now, and her bag is just it's gotten more full since this morning. Oh my, this one feels like it's gonna pop. Wow. And I can show you from the back. She goes this way. Forward. Good girl. Whoa. Right there. Whoa. Okay. So you see there is no more wrinkles here. Like up here. Like sometimes usually like that. Where now it's just all like her bag. Let me see if she can nicely put her foot sideways. Go sideways. Go that way. <clears throat> so normally the bag is much more wrinklier. And now it's nice and full. Yeah. It's like, getting firmer and solid, right? Oh yeah. There's four parts of it now. And again, part of it too is knowing how your cow normally looks and then looking for and noticing the changes. So speaking of that, this is not how this normally looks back here at all. No, it looks like it got burned and stuff, but it's just getting... So what are the things that we can notice here that are going to be different? Alright, so this is going to be more swollen. It's like, just like jello, like very, yeah. like, yeah. And also her tail is also going to be kind of, you see how she's been keeping it to the side? Right, this is that directly is behind her. Side. She's holding her tail to the side where normally it would cover that, correct? Yes, especially in cold weather like this. I'm shivering out here, but 
And then also, as you can see, her tail is just like, she's not holding it there. I can kind of just like sure. move it around a lot. She's just kind of keeping it away and kind of like up like this a little bit. That's the other side that they're like, probably like a few hours or something. And then also her pins will drop right here. Has that already happened? And yeah, like. Oh you yeah. See that? You can't usually do that. And normally that's a lot firmer, so that's getting very soft. It's like jello this whole up section. Here. Can you wiggle that just a little bit? Yeah, it's it's like jello. It's kind of like swollen though, almost or out, right? Yeah, it's very yeah. And like, what about the drips and stuff? I see with so these sticking she's through. been having a lot of mucus and just discharges. There's some on her tail and some on her legs and stuff, and it's just like getting ready to have the baby and stuff. And so she's been having quite a bit of that, and so... Has there been an actual close. mucus plug that you've been aware of? Or just the... Just drips. Some drips are bigger, but I don't think... So you have a watch right now, right? Yes, it is 12-28. On, on January 8th? Yes. 12-28, okay. And Pinky's thinking today or tomorrow would be the day and you know she's big and swollen she's been we know she got pregnant we know about when her due date is which was two days ago we can see that she's very large and besides being very large and thick can you kind of stand next to her for a minute so i can kind of get a comparison okay yeah her baby which we've been feeling moving up higher for a while has now dropped and it's down in there the bag is swelling Oh yeah, it's and, like that's and about as full as it's gonna get. Yeah. Hopefully. I hope it doesn't get And cold. then everything back here is changing with the discharge, with the tail, with how loose and how jiggly and jello it is. And um yeah. Her eyes are really big too, which is another thing. Like her eyes will get very big, you see, when she's close and you can kinda of see like she just looks a little looks bit. Looks a little more concerned. Different. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you can open the door. But hopefully that helps, and uh, we will time this thing and see. Yeah, she might not want to go out. She's a little bit wet, so she's up a little bit. We will uh, see how close we were. It's just we knew this was close. We had this opportunity to show you some of the changes in our cow. You want to stand behind her just for size comparison, too? Yeah. So like she said, short-legged Dexter, almost four years old. This will be her second calf, and um, she's a really good cow for our homestead a really good size she, she has a really good demeanor she was a bottle baby and then also really nice teats good milk production and uh what did we have her bred to this time what uh, what kind of bull yeah it was a highland and he was a silver highland so. a silver highland yeah. so we're expecting a fuzzy cute little one yes. coming out of here as and pinky that, said maybe even today and that bull has had some super beautiful calves so hopefully this one's super cute. I hope it's fuzzy, at least so cute. Cool. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. And please like and subscribe. Pinky out. She's not bound to get